Hi, hello, it is morning. I'm drinking some coffee. Yesterday we got three, four millimeters of rain, so the soil is wet. It's a great opportunity to dig a base. I'm in my house with my wife, Christian. My name is Joaquin, Joaquin Murrieta, cultural ecologist at Watershed Management Group. So we're going to build a base uh, right here in this beautiful little corner. So let me show you three wonderful ingredients. First of all, the water comes right here in this corner from that, from my, from the roof. It makes a little arch and it hits right here where these rocks are here, all right? I built this two years ago. Water is going in that direction to another basin outside the house. But I'm going to do a little overflow for this basin. So we're going to create a basin right in here, okay? So what we're going to do, we know the source of water. We're going to clean this. We're going to remove this mulch. We're going to mark the basin. We're going to excavate. This basin doesn't require an overflow because it's going to reach a limit here and then it's going to continue going over there. Um, so that's pretty much what we're doing. We have three plants that we're going to plant in here. This is a canyon hackberry, a grass, forget the name, and an agave looking thing. <laughs> so we're going to put those in the basin. All right, let's get it planted. We are done excavating. I don't know if you can tell, but look at this is one foot, 12 inches. So we got like six, seven inches of depth in this basin, all right? But there are some tricks in here. With the soil we excavated, Kristen and I, we put it here. This is going to be a nice, beautiful berm. And we put it over here. So that gives us pretty much one foot of depth, kind of. All right, so excavation is done. Now we're going to shape the side, the, the area of the basin. We're going to make a nice little slope and then we're going to bring the mulch back. Now we're going to plant mulch back and we'll be done. And I think excavation took us like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. something like that, because it was kind of wet. All right, let's continue. Well, the coffee is gone, and, but we also encounter um, that soil is really, really hard. So we're taking advantage. So we're, I'm doing some kind of uh, percolation test. So uh, what time is it? Uh, I put water like a minute ago. We'll measure how long it takes and maybe in about half an hour, uh, we'll come back. It's around 9.30 right now. I was expecting to finish by 10. So I still have 30 minutes. Um, we started at 8. And so we're going to let that water infiltrate. We're going to come back. We're going to excavate and we're going to plant. And the final touches for that basin. All right. Thank you. All right. We took a break this morning because we encountered very hard soil. And plus it was time to go and do some work at the desk. So we put some water on the holes where the plants are going to go. And the nice thing is that water went down like in 20, 30 minutes. So that's a good thing. Water will infiltrate. And now we're going to continue planting and finishing the basement. Cool.
All right, you remember this morning, we started at eight. We stopped at 9.30. Now we spent another 30 minutes here. So it took us two hours to finish this basin. And remember, this is where the water comes from. It could get here, it went nowhere in here. So water will, by gravity, inundate all this. Um, then it's going to reach this level and the water will continue outside, all right? So this is how the final basin looks. It was a wonderful work. It took us a rake, two shovels, a cup of coffee, and that's it. Two hours and that. So enjoy your basin, send us your pictures, and it will be wonderful to see if you can do something like this in your house. All right, thank you so much. Mm.